Sea glider in action. Our camera catch reasons testing out on the water today. It's a hybrid, a boat and a plane. It floats, it foils and it even flies. NBC 10's Katie Benoit is following the Quonset Company's progress. I hopped on a boat to watch the testing happen out on Narragansett Bay. Let's take a look. A first hand look at Regent's sea glider prototype in what's known as foil testing. It came up uh, from hull mode onto its hydrofoils and as it accelerated 17 to nearly 20 miles an hour and then accelerated further to about 25 miles an hour, did about a half mile run and on board in the cockpit for the first time with CEO Billy Tallheimer, along with captain and co-founder Mike Linker, both waving through the glass. So getting on board, I think it just became so real handling the controls. It was pretty surreal. I think from getting out in the morning and just seeing the sea glider on the crane getting lowered in, uh, it's just been a, a very long journey. Regent based in North Kingstown is working to have this type of 15,000 pound model eventually carry 12 passengers to spots like New York and Nantucket. The goal to travel about 180 miles per hour in a hybrid between a boat and a plane. We, we tow uh, the prototype out from the dock uh, because it's an all-electric uh, propulsion system, and so we want to extend our test campaign. And Two boats were staying close by as the foil tests were performed and data was recorded. To see how the vessel responded, and then they'll crunch those numbers. With the hope of having human flight trials in a couple of months. We had this vision five years ago of a sea glider, something that is as fast as an aircraft and as easy to drive as a boat. And uh, being out there on the hydrofoils today, it was it was very true. In North Kingstown, Katie Benoit, NBC 10 News.